It's a beautiful morning. Hopefully not too rainy because there was a forecast of rain. It actually rained a few hours ago but it looks like it has stopped. So I hope it stays that way at least for the rest of today. Welcome back to Let's Plant. If you've been following my vlog, then you'll know that for the past few episodes, I've been talking a lot about propagations. In this episode, I'm going to touch on another method of propagation which is quite underrated and in fact, I think is one of the most enjoyable methods of propagating and that's doing swaps. I'm sitting out here just waiting for my friends to arrive. They should be arriving anytime soon. But yeah, I'm quite excited. I wonder what they have in store. Some of the items they're bringing with them would be quite a surprise. So we'll see what we get. Melbourne weather. Welcome to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that I can't grab more cuttings or offsets. Ah. Because of the hail <laughs> and rain. Zach, no, stay here. Yeah, no. Stay here. I guess it's time to do the swap. So let's have a look at what we have here. Uh, what did you bring for us, Megan? Snowball. Yay, <laughs> I've been after this for the longest time. <laughs> wow, kind of showy. I, I have a few of these, just uh, just one small pot, and I haven't been propagating them, so I really like uh, having more of these. Choose a nice mic. I never get more of them because my budget mainly goes towards HBS. <laughs> so it's nice being able to swap for plants that I don't have. And my favorite mini baby chopsticks. Chops. Baby chopsticks. Nice. Yeah, I've got, I've got lots of them growing and I think it's about time that I chop them because uh, they're getting thick again. So yeah, lucky for you. <laughs> These are like that. I chopped some of my pig face orange ones here and these are like the mini versions of it. And hopefully it's not the same color as mine. I can't remember what, what these ones are. Uh, I have a feeling, I think it was a canariense or something. I'm pretty sure it starts with the letter C. But yeah, I'll have to Beautiful. review. I'll have to review my notes at some point. And of course, short black. I've got lots of these now as I have been propagating my my first plant. So yeah, I've got one out for swap. Oh, it even has its own pups. And apart from that, some of the pups on my echeveras are nice. going out. So these are a couple of blondies. This is a nice. Pachyberia nice. Mertella and Echeveria Takasago no Okina. Yeah, it's a mouthful. <laughs> so I'm taking this. That was quick. <laughs> Your tongue somewhere, don't know Bye. what to say. Stop and run around, oh, you. So, the plant swapping method. Nice. Nice. Sit here. So, why do I do this? Plant swaps allow me to get plants that I would not otherwise collect or buy. Because if you've been watching Let's Plant for a while, then you know that I'd rather spend on Echeverias 
and I propagate my echeverias. And that means that I would not likely buy plants that are not within my collecting range. For instance, this Kalanchoes, Ospeldiana. I have one pot of these, just one pot. And as much as I would like to collect more colors of them, I would not be spending on them because I'd rather spend on Echeverias. So doing swaps allow me to specialize on what I want to collect and just deal with others who have the plants that I'm after and let them do the gathering for me. So by exchanging our plants, I get to fill a gap in my collection, things that I don't usually buy, and it's the same for them. It's also a good way for me to grab uh, duplicates or multiples of the same plant because I'm not sure if it's the same in your area or in your country even but buying plants individually or from stores or larger nurseries I guess as long as you're not buying them in bulk then they are not cost effective they cost a lot per plant even if it say it's just one or two dollars but the cost add up for these types for the common ones I'd rather just swap out some of them do you like that, Zach? Nice? Yeah. All right. Cheers! Ding! <laughs> so what you've just seen was a one-on-one -on -one swap, although technically there were two of them, so it was a two-on-one swap. <laughs> but apart from that, all three of us are part of this uh, swap group in Melbourne, and this swap group regularly holds swap meets, uh, a larger version of the swap and I think I have it at episode 21 of Let's Plant so if you want to know what I was talking about just nice. click on this link or maybe in the description nice cheers Ping. again Ping. <laughs> and I think swapping is also a good way to get plants because it allows you to interact with other members of the succulent community and if you look at it closely it's not just the plants that you're swapping you're also swapping stories, your experience with your plants, and there's value being traded beyond the plants. You could also make friends this way. This also sets you up for future swaps, for future stuff, you know. And it doesn't have to be plants only. You could swap for non-succulent stuff like a, a trike for Zach. Where's your trike, Zach? We can't find it. <laughs> it's somewhere. So think of swapping either as an investment in terms of growing your network and at the same time <laughs> and at the same time it's a way for you to specialize that way you could focus on collecting one type of plant and others nice. collect other types of plants and between you and them you have everything and if you haven't been doing swaps I really recommend that you start Speaking of swap meets, our local succulent swap group is organizing a swap meet event for next Saturday and the timing could not be more perfect. I'm thinking of bringing along some of my excess plants. Some of them would be those that I pulled out from the back, maybe even some of my aeoniums. But more importantly, I was thinking of doing a lot of chopping and trimming of some of my fillers and my edgers. And by those type of plants, I'm talking about something like this, my like blue chopsticks, sorry, the dwarf versions, and I'm also thinking of grabbing some of the, the larger versions. I've also got lots of the orange big face, so I'm going to take cuttings of them. And maybe even some of this Senecio Barbertonicus. This was quite a hit last time. Everyone took some of my cuttings. But in any case, I'll have a better idea of what I'll be bringing as I get closer to next Saturday. I'll be going around and harvesting the plants sometime during the week.
And one final thing, today is the 15th of September and it's my birthday. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, that's Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Kui, Gloria Ninotti, Camilo Arvaez, Linda Leal, Gwen Ott, and Jesse May, new supporter. Your support is very much appreciated. It allows me to further improve my production quality and puts me in a better spot overall in terms of content. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're watching on Facebook, then hit the like on this video and follow my page. And finally, you can check out my Instagram, that's at Siriska Page, and I post a photo of an Echeveria every single day under the hashtag Daily Echeveria. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Nikki's asleep. <laughs>